Todd and Jade in the morning on 95.5 PLJ. Here's Todd with a special announcement. The rumors you've been hearing are true. As hard as it is to believe, WPLJ will be going away on Friday, May 31st. The format and personalities that you've come to love over the years will no longer broadcast on 95.5. Well, it's 95.5 WPLJ, long live New York's best rock. WPLJ New York. I'm Shelly Sunstein, WPLJ News. I'm Jim Kerr. This is WPLJ, 3 before 7 o'clock. Good morning to you. Here's Journey and Faithfully, WPLJ. Most music, Power 95 with Pat St. John. Thank you for spending your weekend with us. Power 95, WPLJ, Domino's on your radio with new kids on the block. Concert tickets bulging out of my pocket, among other things. Time in the morning. 95.5. Forty-eight years ago, this iconic radio station signed on the air. And we can't help but think of all the music, the personalities, the concerts, the prizes, all the fun we had. We had a great time together, and we will never forget those times. The coming weeks will bring the end. And over the years, we've made some incredible memories. And we're so glad that we became the best of friends. We never took your friendship or loyalty for granted, and we will be forever grateful. We'll pass on more information as we get it. Until then, from all of us at 95.5 PLJ, thank you for listening. Todd and Jade in the morning. On 95.5 PLJ. Todd and Jade in the morning, 721. Obviously, if you missed the announcement that we did at 710 this morning, the end is coming for 95.5 WPLJ. Friday, May 31st, oh, the so station dramatic. will be going <laughs> off the air, and it, it was purchased by a Christian broadcasting company. So that's a deal, in case you didn't know. And that's the music and format that they're going to do, and obviously that's not what we do. Well, so, I mean, the question we've gotten a lot is, are you going to continue to do the show, which... As much as we are cut out to do a faith-based morning show, yeah. I, I haven't haven't received Especially any offers. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'd all have to go to confession yeah. before, but Jade, yeah, you'd be great. Why, why, why is this on me? <laughs> okay. So that that just just to clarify, that means the everyone here will be leaving, and the radio station is going away. It'll be whatever it is gone. Um, it'll be called. Hey. I don't know what what its call letters are, but. It's a K Love format, so right. That's what that's what it'll be. Well, and we found out a, a while ago, and have just been trying to kind of digest it and make our own plans for our lives and our families. And uh, it's just been it's been a tough thing to understand. PLJ is such a legendary station. It's a station that you know, growing up in radio and wanting to be in radio and be a broadcaster. This is it's just been this iconic, massive signal. And, the, mm-hmm. you know, having the opportunity to work here with you, Todd, and Annie and Monk has just been, uh, I can't even put it into words. And that it's ending this way is sad, you know, but I hope that we can all keep in touch. And, um, like us personally, all of us? The it's four. just a weird day. <laughs> yeah, with you. Well, I'm not un- you. I'm unfollowing you right now yeah. on, on Instagram. No, wait till the 31st, at least. <laughs> so, Annie, yeah. how about you? I'm going to give I everybody can't. a chance to just give their take that's all i feel like this is love them or leave them <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say annie yeah or final thought what annie's like what? Yeah. leave yeah. or convert <laughs> what is it <laughs> i i don't know if i can speak about it. i'm so i'm trembling you can I'm so upset can i know um just thank you monk made the initial call to me five years ago um broadcasting in the hudson valley for so many years and then getting that call and everyone's like oh my god the legendary plj and just being here and having this opportunity to speak on this microphone in this studio, learn from you guys. All, and we're all talented in such different ways, and we've learned from each other, and we've all gone through so many crazy life things that mm-hmm. a lot of people don't even know about, but we show up every day, we laugh, we smile, we try to make you smile, and we've met so many families, and this station means so much to so many people in the Tri-State area, mm-hmm. and I'm sad to see the signal go away forever, but I'm grateful for my time here, and I'm grateful that we're the last of it. 
that we get to see it through till the very end. Unless it was our fault. <laughs> Unless, no, I, I know what we did, what we could no. do, and it's radio, and these things happen. It's not the first time I've been through it or anybody else, and we're all going to be okay, and I'm happy we have a final say. Sometimes uh-huh. radio, you're out. It's and so you true. Like, this is, yeah. and thank you for just getting me through my first year of motherhood and embracing Sean and Michael and my family. And love to all listeners. I'm sorry, I can't even. It's just so sad. And I'm ready to, yeah. you know, see what's next. What's the next chapter? Right. And stay in touch with everyone and, and wish everybody well. Met so many great people along the way. So. You got such a good point, too. And there's a lot of comments on Instagram and everything. And if you want to keep in touch with us, if you find 95.5 PLJ on Instagram, you'll find our profiles, too. But, Todd, what I love to see are the people that say, I was, I listened to your girls do the Vermont teddy bear ad. You know, I listened to, you know, I was there when you're, as your girls grew up and got married and had kids of their own. I mean, you've had a relationship with this audience. I mean, you too, Monk. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. 20 something years. But, you know, you've shared your lives. And for Annie and I to come in, you know, in the last five, six years and join you guys has been a real honor to get to know this audience and to have our own life milestones, you know, for me having a miscarriage and then finally getting pregnant. And Stella growing up and doing unscrambling Stella when I yes. first moved here, yeah. if you remember that. Um, but for you guys, the roots are so deep. You know, yeah, Monk. Yeah. go ahead, Monk. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's kind of weird because this is all I know. Like literally, my entire life has been PLJ. I've been here longer than uh, more than half my life, and the only reason I ended up working here was in 1994. I was in college, and I was like, I want to get an internship. And I got accepted to a bunch of places, but the only reason I took the internship here at PLJ was it was one block from the pass station. Little did I know. <laughs> really? Yeah. It was one block from the pass station. It was the easiest internship to get to in Manhattan. And I was like, ah, oh, this will be fun. I'll do it for a little while. And from the minute I walked into that in the door in the, the spring of 1994, I've been here ever since. Wow. Which is like... Unheard of it's in radio. Crazy. It is, right? you know? especially for the number one market. Yeah. I mean, I this is everyone aspires to get to yes. New York. So for you to have your first yeah. job here, based on geography and, and convenience, to yeah, the path. How lucky, and lucky it's, you. That's all I know. And I, you know, I met my wife here, and so I'm thankful for the work, for the job, for doing that, and for meeting all you guys. And Todd's been sort of like a, a big brother to me. You know, he's the one who kind of found me when I when I started working here in the promotion department. He said, "Hey, that guy looks like he could be something one day." And little uh, did he know. Little did he know. <laughs> You're still uh, working on it. Yeah, still working. But maybe one day I'll be something, Todd. Uh, but yeah, no. So it's it's going to be hard to walk away from this. Like people have already. I mean, we've all obviously had the conversation. What are you going to do next? What do you do next? I'm like, Bargain. I don't know. I know. I, I just really. I, yeah. I just don't know. You know, the thing is, it's like I've. This is like I said. This has been more than half my life. This is all I know what to do. All I know is waking up and seeing Todd first thing in the morning. You know what I mean? So hey, what about us? We're here too. Well, yeah, well, I've, I've, I've been with Todd for just slightly longer. Wait. So how many how many years yeah. have you been in this studio? Uh, in the studio, I think it was probably. Like like 1996. Wow. So yeah. I was in wow. high school still. Thanks. You don't need to mention that, Annie. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Uh, but yeah. So, so what this, is that? 24? 20 something years. Not a mathematician. Yeah. That's a long good time. Good for you guys. Yeah. 23. Wow. What about so, you, Todd? How many years you been in this seat? Uh, 28. 28. You, 28. You were 91? So, so the wow. station was on in uh, 48 years, came on 48 years ago, and I've been here for 28 of them. So wow. when you think about that and put it in perspective and you raise a family and you have an audience that grows with you and stays with you, it's a humbling experience because they, they ge- genuinely, you guys listening, have become part of our yes. extended family. I mean, yeah. there's no question about it. I, I've gotten to know so many listeners who we communicate. You know, Before there was social media, it was email and phone calls. And the thing that always struck me about the PLJ audience was that they were extraordinarily loyal and and stayed with this station when, quite frankly, they probably shouldn't have. Uh, and it went through all kinds of changes. And mm-hmm. they stayed and they listened and they said, well, we're with you. And and that, that just has always meant the world to me. And, and it's all about the people, mm-hmm. clearly, mm-hmm. in this business because it, it, it could have been, you know, there's, there's a lot of shows that – that are on the air that they they don't talk to each other once the microphones are off and it's it's one of those things guys where if you're listening and and you're saying you know this can't be true that well we work for a company too so it, it, this is not something that we ever wanted right or we ever planned no. basically we've been fired so that's that's okay because we've all been fired you know it's it's again i think it's something we share with the audience and and we have a unique opportunity to go through it mm-hmm. with them and most people listening have been fired at one point 
in their in their oh. life and, or downsized, you know, department eliminated. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I guess. Yeah, I guess I don't know what the right term is I don't because either. when the radio station has been sold and they're changing format, I guess well, technically you're not fired, but your services are no longer required. Yeah. You know, so that's a, in and of itself sort of a humbling thing. I I've never been fired from a job. Welcome to the club. Um, <laughs> oh, it only actually, took you 28 years. There you go. Actually, I can't say that. I w- when I was 14, I got fired for for leaving the radio station and going home to cut the grass while the polka show was on. <laughs> so there is. Wow. That's, true. Okay. that's true. But then I got a job at the FM that night. So it was you like, rebel. Uh, it's it's um it's really a surreal thing to mm-hmm. be going through. Mm-hmm. Um, but if we're gonna go through it, we're going through it together. And you know, until the end, we're gonna just continue to do our show. And we hope you listen, yeah. and we'll have some laughs. And you know, if you want to check in, we'll take some calls here and there. And that's all we can really do at yeah. this point. You know, just do the best that we possibly can. What even wrapping your mind around just the idea that a radio station would sell? If this gives you any sort of idea or, or paints a picture for you, our engineer Gene, who's been here a zillion years, basically created this <laughs> room, right? Yeah. So he came in was a couple weeks ago, and he essentially because people ask, well, you know, are they going to bring their furniture in here? Who's going to be sitting in your chair? Who's going to be using your microphones? It really doesn't work like that. It's not like we pack our boxes and we leave this floor. This is this is a space that that Cumulus owns. So when they sell the radio station, essentially the engineer Gene probably will come into this studio that we're in and press a button, and the signal will just no longer go to the antenna on top of the Empire State Building. There'll just be another signal that'll take that. You know what I mean? Right. So it, well, just, in essence, it it's the same signal. It's the same it'll signal. Sound signal. Different. It's just, <laughs> our, we just won't broadcast to that signal. I guess is what I'm trying right, to say right. anymore. So this space that we're in will no longer push out information into the world, and that just blew my mind. Because what well, is this it'll, room? It'll push out the the, the Christian broadcasting. Yeah. No, not here in this room. Information. Yeah. No, but the signal yeah. will. Yeah. Well, yeah, the I signal's mean, the not. Signal's the signal. Well, not in this room, but I mean, like this floor, this space where you guys have been coming for yeah. you know yeah, no. f- almost thirty years is not going to. PLJ or broadcast anymore but that's I mean and that's the thing about radio that people need to understand is we all put our best foot forward like I said no matter what's going on in our life we come in we show up we broadcast we put our happy face on and we can't control what happens above us and that's Mm -hmm. why radio personalities move and move and move we have this unique opportunity to say goodbye I am so grateful for that I've been let go before they mail you your stuff in a box yeah Yeah. your audience says where did you go when I lost last 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 I think it was like five years ago and I came here then people heard me on with you guys, Todd, and they said, oh, my yep. God, there you are. I didn't know where you went. That's just the nature of our business. And we're yeah. going to keep moving and hopefully stay in touch with you. But, you know, Radio FM is the most powerful thing in the world to me as far as media. We get to reach you in such an intimate way and really yeah. be along with you on your gruesome commute, your rides. And we don't take that for granted. And I love everyone for supporting us along this journey. And, and there's nothing like it. You're right. I mean, think about it. TV, podcasting, whatever medium, whatever you listen to, whatever you, entertainment, you know, whatever yeah. you look, you go to. There's nothing like radio where nothing. you can call instantly and connect with somebody and you can hear for us anyway. You, we, we can hear so many different stories from people of walks of life that we would never otherwise touch. The fact that we can all come together and have shared experiences and storytelling. Where else could you find something like that outside of like terrestrial FM radio? It's incredible. It's well, super it's a, impactful. It's and it is a business that's in trouble, but that's a whole nother yeah. you know, conversation. So until Friday, May thirty first, which is three weeks from Friday, you're stuck with us. We're gonna continue to do what we do. As a <laughs> that's matter of right. fact, blown off's coming up next on PLJ. Hang on. Hot and stayed in the morning. Ninety five five